now on the topic. <clears throat> now I've also been in the market for a new, more modern CPU for myself. I've been after a low power CPU, but trying to get a, probably a Ryzen, trying to get a GE processor has proven quite difficult or expensive. Um, so I've had to settle on, let's drop the box in here, something a bit, well, I've had to, it's a bit cheaper than a GE processor at the moment, but I would like to upgrade to a GE processor later. So these do have configurable wattage, as you can see, it's an AMD CPU. Uh, where is it? There we are. We have here a Ryzen Pro 3550G. So it is an APU for the AM4 socket. It'd be nice. This is going to make uh, the centre part of my new testing slash work machine. These aren't the easiest CPUs to get your hands on, but here is one courtesy of good old quiet PC. Brilliant website, just check it out. This isn't sponsored. And even though it was an a um, OEM CPU, they did send the good old Wraith cooler. I didn't expect this. I expect I had to get my own cooler for this particular project. But here we are. The good old classic non-RGB Wraith. Which should... Oh, turn three. Step on the bottom. So it should work lovely with this CPU. I'll be doing some benchmarks and some video card testing. I do, this is actually I think now my fastest CPU I own. Um, I haven't got any in more than a 4 core, 4 core 8 threads yet. Um, I've got, my other CPU is a Skylake i7 and that does just fine for what I need. I would like to upgrade this to the Ryzen 7 Pro, or just the Ryzen 7 normal APU, uh, when I get some money to buy it, because A, these are hard to get, and B, they're a bit expensive. And the reason for the APU is I want to have this in a very small machine, and use the integrated graphics for an office machine. So I don't really want a standard Ryzen, because you need to put an extra GPU in. So the whole thing is supposed to be a nice low power machine that can do what it needs to do. So, there's a quick preview of that. Let's get some boxes out of the way. And that will make... Hopefully we'll come back to this next week, or in a couple of weeks, when I have time to actually put it together. I have a, a board on the way, because I, while I do have another Ryzen CPU, it uses... I'm using an older board, and the BIOS doesn't support this doesn't support this particular chip, so I'm having to buy a B550 board, which should be arriving soon. I'll give that a quick overview when it arrives, and then we'll put this together and put it through its paces. Center that up for a nice little cover shot. Also, it's always nice to have an extra cooler lying around. I might not use this in the build, but I might use it to start with to see what the performance is like. I have a another cooler around that I might want to use instead. So we'll come back to this soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. But uh, if, you, if you are after one of these, I found it very frustrating to seeing other reviews and stuff talking about them and not being able to get my hands on one. Um, while Quiet PC do stock them, they are very few and far between and they only really sell them as part of full systems so you have to drop lucky and keep an eye and you might be able to get one I mean this one in particular cost me about I think 130 pounds so not as cheap as the like 3200G but the performance should be better <laughs>